Is it at all possible to both, for, for an ANSP, you've got two contradictory uh, uh, pressures, increased capacity now because the recovery is coming, at the same time reduce emissions and reduce environmental things. So how does an ANSP start to deal with these two contradictory issues? Well, in, in normal operations, that's not so contradictory because uh, if you have the shortest route possible through the airspace, it means that uh, uh, there are less uh, flight hours uh, in the, into the system, which could increase the capacity. Yeah? But the problem is that uh, during during the summer peaks, at least in FAPCE, we have an issue with the bad weather, with the high density of thunderstorms, and at that particular case, it's not going well one by, one by the other. So, unfortunately, it means that if we want to increase the capacity, it's usually uh, very bad for the envi environmental indicators. But, but, but does this lead to sub suboptimal tra trajectories? Well, from the env environmental point of view, this is leading to the, to the suboptimal operations. Uh, at the moment, we are so struggling with the capacity during the peak hours that, of course, the advantage is still the capacity. So, uh, the future workshop should be dedicated to provide more capacity, more flexibility, and this will lead to, to more optimal routes from the envi environmental aspect. And presumably another issue is that you don't have a straight-line recovery process. So, in each FABC ANSP, the recovery is taking place at different, in different ways. Yes, because uh, after the pandemic uh, period, now we have a pretty different uh, pattern, traffic pattern. So the traffic is back, but it's not the same traffic. So the uh, airliners are flying different routes, most of the customers are different, and uh, that's why the pace of recovery is different from state to state.